a reading for my Leos. We did Aries. Now it's time for Leos. Hello, Leos. Welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope that all is well with you. May peace, love, and blessings reach you. Hold on. Let me find my crystal. Take a second to cleanse your energy. Only be receptive to whatever message is for you during your current situation. All right, so Leo's King. Grab the jar for me. Grab the jar. Do I what? Come on. Hey, easy, easy, easy. You're gonna mess the camera. Pull some out. All right, Leos. Let's see what is going on. Jeremiah is going to pull some fortune cookies for you guys. Let's yeah. see what Spirit got for you. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what is for my Leos. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right. This says if money talks, then Bitcoins sing. So you guys could be investing in Bitcoins. Maybe you guys are needing to tap in. Okay. Um, next mother. That says next month. Um, next month. Um, okay, I'm seeing 9, 17, 21, 27, 39, and 61. Where are you going? So some of you guys could be getting Bitcoins. Maybe next month is really going to hit for you. Damn, that was the only two that he pulled out. So let's pull out more. Something very significant with next month for you guys. Okay. So let's put the rest of these guys in. All right, Leos, let's see. All right, a spiritual practitioner of dark arts is going to get tapped the fuck out. So tapped out, that is going to be up to the ancestors. This can be tapped out of... Um, of their money. This can be stripped of their gifts. If, um, they can, yay. However, the universe decides to handle them. Somebody get tapped the fuck out. But, okay. And that could be something next month or the Bitcoins or next month. I don't know. Let's see. Be open to change. So by next month, expect some sort of change here. I'm seeing money talk, bullshit walk. Yeah, look, because my time is money. Don't waste my time. Money talk, bullshit walk. That's what y'all is. Money talk, bullshit walk. <laughs> All right, what's going on? My deals. All right, someone could be going to the doctor. Maybe you guys are needing to go to the doctor. All right, two, three, four. So you guys could be seeing two, three, four. If not, then you're going to start seeing it shortly after. A family full of loose screws. So you could be dealing with someone who has a family full of loose screws, or you could have this family full of loose screws. 
Okay, take it however. Everybody's family is fucked up in some in some sort of way. Okay, you got a couple. Everybody got that drunk ass uncle, that drunk ass aunt. <laughs> Everybody got that junkie. Everybody got the person that got some money. You know, then there's middle. Then there's always that one that got a whole bunch of kids. You know, everybody family is like that. Okay. So just pray for them as I like to say. <laughs> Divine intervention. Mental health. Being full. So make sure that you are keeping yourself grounded because there is a divine intervention here. So definitely be open to change. Okay, 1911 through 1919. So these numbers could be significant. This could be numbers. What? And y'all wiped off all of them? All right, go ahead and put some cans and stuff in there. Okay, so let's see what else we got. I am not a human being. So this is someone, I'm getting Anunnaki vibes. So a black person here. Or an Indian. I don't know. I'm just feeling Anunnaki for some reason. And with this, this divine intervention, like, yeah. Psychic skills enhanced. So someone's an earth angel here. Okay. So if you guys have like some sort of psychic abilities, the motherfuckers are about to boost. So definitely keep yourself covered. Make sure that you're drinking water. Okay. Two, three, four. Let's see what I got for two, three, four. Everything that you touch turns to gold. Okay, so let's see. Let me see, let me see. Something a part of history from 1911 through 1919. Or you guys could be seeing these numbers. Okay, let's get clarity on this for my Leos. Yeah, it says, let go of the small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Dream big. So, yeah, definitely be open to change here. Because there's definitely some change that's coming about. There's a divine intervention here. Let's get, like, two more for my Leos, please. Thank you. Let's see how they just fell out. And right for y'all to see it. <laughs> okay, get some rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Take it easy on yourself. Okay, and then this has music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desires while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So use music to help you, you know, unwind and get yourself in the energy that you're needing to be flowing in. Also, if you listen to, like, meditation music or, you know, whatever type of music that is soothing enough for you, I feel like that also could help your skills enhance. Okay. Because
because your mind is not like you're quiet and your mind is just sitting there and just thinking. It's like it'll help you get in tune, get in vibration with what's going on around you. All right, spirit, what is going on? All right, today I feel optimistic. Today I will see the beauty and goodness in the heart of every person I interact with. So even if you're dealing with a family full of loose fucking screws, <laughs> see the beauty and the goodness in the heart of those that has some heart. Okay, today I am confident. Today I am who I am. And I am capable of doing anything that I put my mind to. Okay, so definitely, yeah, let go of the small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. Two, three, four, you guys could have the Ascended Masters helping you. Yep, that's exactly what it is. The Ascended Masters are coming for a divine intervention here. Let's get one more for my Leos, please. Thank you. So this says, today I am focused. Today I will be productive and feel good about doing the hard work that I need to do. So whatever this is that you're needing to do or that you are wanting to do, just make sure that you're productive today. And that you're enthusiastic about doing it or like that you don't feel like you're wasting your time. Because I feel like you're getting, I'm getting like this energy where you feel like you're wasting your time with something. But you have to be open to change as well. So how else do you get changed? By doing things different. One move today can change your life for the rest of your life that can even example having a baby you have sex with one person and then there you go okay so just keep that in mind all right spirit guys ancestors for my leos let's get clarity all right we have flamingo Flamingo represents balance, love, power, happiness, and goal-oriented. So, yeah, whatever goals it is that you have set for yourself, get focused on completing those, those goals here. So, if you guys need to make a doctor's appointment, make the damn doctor's appointment. Don't keep putting that shit off, okay? Your greatest danger could be your stupidity. So, something that you do not know about could be like deadly to you that could be like um <clears throat> you know this could be something about the loose screws that could be the spiritual practitioner greatest danger could be your stupidity so yeah be open to change don't just think that you know everything is what i'm getting yeah don't just think that you know everything or that you got it like if somebody else is trying to tell you something or help you then be open to that all right what else let's get one more for my leos all right a sheep so you guys could be like the black sheep i told y'all i was getting like the yeah you guys could be like star seeds earth angels or something like that i'm getting like somebody in in some rank so if somebody tried to fuck with you, then they definitely fucked up, okay? So a sheep represents peace, purity, courage, progress, level-headed, and being humble. So yes, yeah, staying optimistic as well as confident here. All right, hunties. My hunty buns. Yeah, I'm seeing, see, it has some, look at something from a different perspective here.
Yeah, be open to change. Like changing the way that you're doing something, that you're looking at something, that you're handling something. Yeah, and then here go the King of Wands. So be cool, calm, and collective. This is like you're naturally a natural born leader. So you already supposed to know to be open to different things. Change is inevitable is what I'm hearing. Okay. There's the Queen of Pentacles. So you guys could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And then the Ace of Wands. This could be on, yeah, so something's the truth about someone being emotionally immature here. So there could be like a new beginning or you guys could be working with someone here. There could be a masculine Scorpio Pisces Cancer that's on the wrong side of the energy here. Okay. Let's get clarity on my time is money. Yeah, foolish actions. So it's like I ain't got time for that. You're not going to fuck up my money doing no stupid shit. Or you don't waste your time doing foolish shit. Whatever this is, okay? What's... Yeah, to have someone stuck, not knowing which way to go. Or that's what this is. It's like someone emotionally imbalanced and being stuck. Like they're trapped. Yeah, the fool here, someone could be dealing with an Aquarius, do not necessarily have to be. Um, with the fool card, that's like stepping out on faith, taking a leap of faith. Okay. Someone could have taken a leap of faith with a Sagittarius. And it didn't work out right. That's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It wasn't prosperous or fruitful. Or if you're taking a leap of faith and you're worried about it not being beneficial, you're going to have angelic help. Or what? Let's see. What's going on with this, with this spiritual practitioner here? A Gemini. So something you don't know about a Gemini here. Or something that you don't know about your love life. Someone could be doing work on your love life. Yeah, because the lovers is at the bottom of the deck leaving love. Yeah, so somebody did some shit on your love life here. A Sagittarius did. So this is a Gemini or a Sagittarius that you left. Shit. Yeah, okay, so collaborating. With a military man. So you guys could be working with someone that's in the military or that's like, um, oh shit. Okay. So there's a woman and a man working together to cause problems here.
I was clarifying spiritual practitioner and the lovers fell out twice and leaving love. So if you guys was working with a Sagittarius and it didn't work out, then it was because they was on some dumb shit. Okay. I don't know what the fuck this is. Let's get clarity on the Queen of Pentacles here. So if you guys are working with someone, I feel like that's who you need to work with. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles is discovering the challenges. Yeah, the Empress. That's the Ace of Wands again. So someone was trying to cause a battle here. Okay. So, yeah, this says a cancer. Causing delays in someone's marriage or religion or something like that. But I'm getting more so a marriage here because this is a lover's and it fell out twice. So I'm getting like soulmate vibes here. Someone is holding off on a marriage with a cancer. Or they're holding off on, I don't know. Cancer is frustrated with someone's marriage. Let's see, what's going on with this cancer here? A cancer is either holding off on getting married or a cancer is frustrated that somebody got married. Yeah, destructive events and hidden agenda. So, whatever this is with this cancer, it's a no. Okay. Um, a cancer is causing delays in someone's marriage with a hidden agenda here. Let's get clarity on this competition. An Aquarius. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. The Aquarius is the competition. So someone could be like an Aquarius and Sag. I don't know if they have a Sag Sagittarius and um, Aquarius cuss. But if they do, then this is somebody. There's, someone could be a cuss, baby. Uh, Gemini and Cancer cuss. I want to say that is one. Yeah, intimacy. Listen. Yeah, look, somebody was juggling. Okay, so let's get some cards out here and see. What is going on with my Leo spirit? What is going on with my Leos? Please give me clarity on my Leos. Lucky Leo or Lioness Leo. No, you didn't clean out all the stuff yet. You ain't put all that stuff in there that fast. I know you did. The cans yeah. and the stuff in the dining room the that's room? on that chair and the car's container in the kitchen on the counter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, look, your marriage, your seventh house, your partnerships in all areas. So some of you that's with some lovers could have this going on. Some of you may not be married. You know, you could have been dealing with somebody and then you realize that they had a fucked up family. Um, you know, you got to take it however, honey. Okay. 
So let's see what is going on for my Leo. Yeah, I just see Neptune here. So yeah, you guys are definitely clairvoyant. You guys have some sort of gift here. So yeah, there's a cancer that's not on the right side of the energy. I just remembered. I was just looking at it again. This is the queen, the king of cups in reverse to have someone stuck. And that's exactly what this says. A cancer is frustrated with someone's marriage. So they have a hidden agenda to cause destructive events. There's also an Aquarius here somewhere in the mix. So this could be a cancer Aquarius cusp. I'm not sure. Again, y'all know who y'all dealing with and what's going on. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't necessarily have to be Pisces, but Neptune is out here. So you can have Leo and Neptune. Don't necessarily have to either, but this is what I'm seeing. So I'm just going to call it all out so I can make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, what else? I knew that this card, yeah, an error. So call upon Archangel Euro to help you. So when you're praying out, Spirit guides, Archangel Ural, you know, however it is that you pray. Or you can just call on Archangel Ural. I think I have um, a card for Archangel Ural. I'll see if it comes out. If not, then you guys look up a prayer for Archangel Ural. Yeah, this says dated each other, but nothing serious. So you guys could have dated someone, but it was nothing serious here. And that is possibly an error because you're not wrestling against the people. You're wrestling against the darkness attached to the person within itself. When you see past the veil, you'll understand that its principles is not the person. It is the darkness that is attached to them. So learning how to balance out the good and the bad here. Okay, there's someone, like I said, you're going to have to do things different. It said be open to change. And this is even more clarifying. You guys could be seeing four-leaf clovers. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely something with Leos and four-leaf clovers here. Because my husband used to find them all the fucking time. So you guys may either find them or you guys may like have them in your yard or something. Either way it goes, this says transformer. You must master a new way of thinking before you can manifest a new way of being. So use your imagination. But I told you, you're going to have to do something different. Yeah, because it's something that you don't know about that can really fuck you up. Or that will be unpleasant. Not, I don't know. I don't know. But... Okay, so what is going on with my Leos? Okay, tell your inner child, dear me, I know that you are scared, but you got this. Seriously. Okay, someone could be saying, don't let me go. You could be saying that or someone else is saying that. Okay. This could be this person that you dated, but it was never anything serious. Like, you could have been fucking with them, but it was nothing serious. Maybe y'all just fucked and hung out or, I don't know, whatever. And now this person don't want to let go, or this is someone that you're dealing with. I don't know. But let's see, what else is going on? That's just like a Leo dated each other, but nothing serious. Y'all motherfuckers do not want... Let me tell you, I always say this on my other shit, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you this to your face. Okay, I say that you do not fuck with a Leo and be expecting to get anything serious. Because Leos are from the jungle. Y'all motherfuckers like to be out here. Look, like to be free. Y'all don't want nothing extra, just let me be the fuck free. <laughs> okay, the truth will set you free. So, 
whatever this is, however you're feeling, you need to speak upon your feels. Okay, let's see what else for my Leos. What else for my Leos here? Yeah, big single. So you guys could be really single and you're enjoying it. Like I said, y'all the, the lions, y'all belong in the jungle. Yeah, see life from a different perspective. You're not easily fooled. You guys may have an unusual perspective and like I said, live in large. So y'all want to be in the jungle, not in the house. And that's okay. That is absolutely okay. Find your purpose and then find your partner. All right, what else for my Leos? I keep saying low perspective. So you guys are looking at something from the wrong perspective. I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay, this says an ex is having detachment issues. That's what I was getting here. You dated somebody, but it was nothing serious. You don't put the man dingo on somebody. Now the bitch won't let go. Or the nigga won't let go. See? That's why. Yeah, look. Try to run, but you never know how them cars gonna land. All right, someone could be getting an organ transplant or needing one with this doctor visit here. I just seen the organ transplant like twice. Let's hope it's not the next series. That could be like someone they know or something. I don't know, let's see. All right, three, three, three. So yeah, the path is clear here. Someone is going to be stuck and lack because okay so this spiritual practitioner is going to be stuck with bad karma that's i told y'all it can go either way like they can tap the motherfuckers out like killing them or the motherfuckers gonna hit their pocket yeah people who turn a small misunderstanding into an all-day shit show is toxic as fuck Definitely some Leo shit. Okay. Somebody is willing to change because they miss their baby. This could be a child. This could be, you know, your actual partner. Okay. Um, whatever you consider your baby. Hell, you, you can have your car in the shop. And like, damn, I want my car to be fixed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forgot to be your lover. I was distracted by outside things. Yeah. Jaheen put that woman first. Yeah, and that fell on top of the cancer shit. So, yeah. Hmm. If somebody is like behind on child support, then your license could be getting revoked or suspended or whatever. Um, I'm definitely seeing that that child support behind on child support card fell out with the other shit. I just put it back up. Yeah, this is war between the good and the bad here. So. Magenta could be very significant. Okay, you were healed. 
May any sickness or disease be casted away, all sickness to be healed. This is your faith call to speak it. Okay? You guys could be going to the doctor, and the doctor could be taking forever. And you're like, man, I got to get back to work. You know, I'm kind of getting that feel here too. But definitely with this doctor's appointment, just speak over whatever your situation is. This is the faith call. So we are going to now speak over my Leos. May all of my Leos be healed from any sickness, any illness, any hurt, harm, or danger. May any spiritual practitioner that is practicing dark arts, may they be stripped of their powers. And may you be a blessing in my Leo's life. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, this is saying welcome change as well. So welcome some change that's going on. Some shit finna be different. That's what I feel. Yeah, look, she worked and she prayed for me. So you got a woman that actually worked. Like she gonna get her money and she gonna pray for you. She gonna hold shit down. Okay. So what's going on? Promise yourself a better future and don't stop until you get there. So that fell on top of find your purpose and then you find your partner. The truth will set you free or someone having a free spirit. They scared to come outside. Source has other plans for your life. I can't wait to hold you in my arms and tell you how much you mean to me. So somebody's saying this about their person. They miss or he or she prays for me. They get, you know, like they, they got their shit in order. Okay. So someone could be seeing that from a, seeing things from a different perspective, like seeing that somebody was really down for them versus somebody else having detachment issues. Yeah. Cause look, are you, this says, are you leaving yet? So you guys could be leaving, but it's storming. It could be raining. It could be thundering, lightning, whatever. Okay, this says you guys are smack dead in the middle of a transformation here. So definitely strap up your boots, baby. Ooh, terminal illness. So yeah, somebody definitely got some shit going on here. Okay, so definitely um, take care of yourself. Yeah, they just said you're going too hard. Kick your feet up and chill. So Ty's got you stuck again. Why the fuck does have to come up? I know you're going to let me fuck again. <laughs> okay, so this says pillow talking to the side, bitch. Is gambling with your motherfucking life because you never know what this side bitch got going on. Okay, so bad company or the side dude got going on. Whatever y'all got going on here. Okay, take it however. Bad company corrupts good morals. So you're gambling with your life. Oh, tell me somebody. Okay, so this terminal illness could be a lung, something to do with lungs, AIDS, diabetic, cancer, dementia, a heart disease, or anything that is like real serious. Um, I don't know. I'm just hoping and praying that y'all get y'all shit together, okay? <laughs> we are... Hoping, praying, and speaking wellness over you guys. Shit. Somebody here could be falling out. Yeah, look. Trying to destroy a relationship on purpose because they can't get you back. Shut up. I told you. I fucking told you.
I motherfucking told you. What time we at? 40? All right. What else for my Leos? And then I'm going to cut it off here. What else for my Leos? Okay. So somebody that you're ignoring here. We don't chase hoes. Let it go. So somebody that you've let go and you've blocked here. Is at war with Satan. When you guys get back out there in the dating scene, then be sure. Interested in gambling for love. So yeah, like I said, somebody was definitely gambling with their motherfucking life here. With somebody who wasn't all that good for it the for the occasion what is it okay so it says when you get back out on the dating scene be specific about your intentions about your feelings what it is that you want what you don't want you know that sort of thing so you know don't tell people that you want something serious and then you don't want something serious that's pretty much what i'm getting at. okay if you guys got some shit going on, you need to tell people. Anyways, it says, don't worry about their next move. It can't happen until you make yours. Since they are so inspired by you and your work and where you're going. Stay focused and keep going. So you definitely got a motherfucker out here that's trying to fuck up some shit. So, a uh, spiritual union. That's what they trying to fuck up. So, that's what I got here for you guys. For those of you that are single, this could be why, especially if you were like in a serious commitment. Um, be open to change in whatever way. Maybe if you guys are sick, you're needing to change your diet, the things that you're eating and doing and all that sorts of stuff. Um Yeah, let's get like two of these spirit. Let's see. Okay, so this says a wealthy man. So you guys could be this wealthy man here. You guys could be dealing with a wealthy man. Okay, and great fortune. So I definitely see you guys having money is get this bag baby money talk bullshit wow okay and then this has the mature woman calling in soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you guys together as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment Okay, so for the films, I see you guys calling on your soulmate, releasing and healing here. For my masculines, I see you getting to the back, baby. Peace.